behind me is the tulip tree, which is my favourite non-native tree. So it's brilliant to find one in the Arboretum of Great Linford. And one of my favourite things about this tree is really the story of how it came to be in Britain and we know exactly how it arrived. The tree came to the UK through the endeavours and explorations of John Tradiscant the Younger. He made three trips in the first half of the 17th century to the New World and Virginia to specifically to collect plants and trees and seeds. He couldn't bring live trees back because the journey each time across the Atlantic took four and a half months. The second really great thing about the tulip tree is its amazing flowers and leaves. I think you can see they both bear a resemblance to tulips and that's how it got its name. It's actually, in family terms, more closely related to a magnolia tree. We're particularly lucky with this tree in that the flowers are at this low level where you can really have a look and see how intricate and colourful they are. Most larger trees, the flowers are higher up and difficult to see. The flowers are a great source of pollen and nectar and in America produce a rich brown honey. As you can see, the bark is generally grey and in this case covered in some really quite beautiful different types of lichen. But you can perhaps also pick up, it's got the beginning of the deep grooves which will expand as the tree grows until they're really quite major features of the trunk. The combination of climate change and concerns about ash dieback and oak processionary moth and other diseases affecting our native trees means that it's good to have other plants and trees that we can consider, especially for our parks and gardens and urban areas. And the tulip tree has a special role to play. It seems to be doing particularly well in other parts of Europe and in fact in Milan they've got the tallest tree which goes up to 80 metres and in France it's self-seeding better than it is here. So that's all really positive and suggests the temperatures here could rise and the tree would still thrive. The tree is pollution tolerant and also it obviously grows to an immense height and lives for a very long time, at least 300 years in this country. And that means it has great potential to be considered as something to plant to help absorb carbon. I hope you enjoy seeing the tulip tree and visiting the Arboretum.